In Arkansas, a man dragged from his home by police accused of illegally piercing his son's ear. Jeremy Sherlin arrested on charges of performing body art on a minor, endangerment of a minor, and resisting arrest. All this after allegedly piercing his son's ear upon his son's request. We spoke with the prosecuting attorney in Arkansas who explained how the state law there works. You can't perform body art, which includes piercing, on an individual regardless of parental consent on someone under the age of 16. There is an exception for the earlobe, uh, but there is another section in that statute which provides that any body art must be performed in a licensed facility. All right, so Sherland was released after posting a $1,500 bond. He's now awaiting his arraignment hearing, which is set for next month. All right, let's bring in David Ehrenberg, state attorney in Palm Beach County, Florida. Uh, Dave, thank you so much for being with us. We wanted to bring in somebody who was not connected to this case at all. It certainly seems bizarre. On the surface, maybe a bit ridiculous. There was a father who was physically arrested for piercing his son's ears after his son asked him to do so. But then police say they were told the son said the father was drunk and put him in a chokehold. So usually the truth is somewhere in the middle, but maybe there isn't really a lot of gray area between those two stories. Yeah, it's good to be with you. You know, when a young person goes to school and starts telling his classmates that his father got drunk and manhandled him and shoved a needle in his ear, yeah, you can see why suspicions would be aroused, police would get involved, and and the DA would be interested. This case is a hard one, though. I can tell you uh, from a prosecutor's perspective that this case falls apart if the victim here, the son, recants and said, no, I pierced my own ear. Now what oh. you got? That's, yeah. <laughs> that's why it's very tough for prosecutors to file this case, and that's why this prosecutor has not yet filed the case. The DA uh, they apparently worked with police on the warrant, uh, the arrest warrant, but they haven't filed the official charges yet, so stay tuned. All right, so so Dave, we just heard from the prosecutor uh, before we brought you in, and we did speak to the prosecutor about the law on the books there in Arkansas and the details that were given to police leading to this arrest. So here's what he had to say. Other information has come out. Um, there have been interviews on various media outlets about uh, that, that, uh, that conflict with what was initially reported to the officers. Um, but at, at that time, it appeared that the piercing was involuntary. And so that's uh, a lot of the reasons that went into the decision that was made. Okay, so he just said there, it appeared that it was involuntary, but the son, who could be heard in that viral video saying he asked his dad to pierce his ears, has reiterated the stance again since that arrest. So what goes into making the decision to actually arrest someone when it appears they hadn't necessarily gotten both sides of the story? Yeah, well, the police can make an arrest based on probable cause. So in this case, it was a warrant, so they went to the lawyers, the prosecutor's office, um, and then they take it to a judge, a judge signs off on it. It's really low burden, probable cause. But for prosecutors, you've got to file cases only when you believe you can get a conviction beyond any reasonable doubt. And if you've got a situation where the victim, as the DA just said, there's some evidence that maybe the statements weren't totally accurate that he said in the class, boy, that would uh, probably persuade me that we wouldn't be filing these charges. So this is a tough case. Now, regardless of whether these charges are dropped, they could still pursue the charges of resisting arrest without violence. That's where this defendant may have really screwed up. If he was a little more compliant, this thing could possibly go away. But since he was doing some resisting, mm -hmm. that's a charge that'll stay around. Uh, last question for you, Dave. You know, the law says a person there in Arkansas can, under 18, can undergo body art with parental consent, but then says, quote, a person shall not perform body art on a person under 16 years of age, regardless of parental consent. So it seems the purpose here is not to punish kids or parents, but unlicensed or unsanctioned operations. So why crack down on a parent in this case? Yeah, the law is a little confusing. First, it says there's an exception for the earlobe, but then you have to do it in this uh, clean, licensed facility. 
Uh, ultimately, it's up to prosecutors and law enforcement to whether to enforce this law. And if you enforce it here, you got to enforce it everywhere. You don't want to have selective prosecution. That's a no-no. So this is a whole can of worms. Once you start going down this road, there's no turning back. So be careful would be my advice to my fellow prosecutors. All right. Well, Dave, thank you so much for kind of helping us wade uh, through the water here on this one. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.